G'day everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. Now, I get a few messages every now and then with people having questions to do with my motor vlog setup, cameras, what gear I use, things like that. So I figured while I'm out here, I might as well make a quick video showing you guys what I use, why I use what I use, and just give you guys a few tips if you are looking at getting into motor vlogging and want to get your own setup. Now before I show you guys my setup, I've got three things here I'm going to mention that you might want to answer to yourself before you run out and start buying anything. Now the first thing that you're going to want to answer for yourself is what kind of camera do you actually want. Now as you can see here, I'm running the GoPro, great camera, already had a GoPro when I started doing moto vlogging so I just stuck with the same setup, just upgraded the GoPro as new ones came out and as I wanted to upgrade to get some better footage. But there's heaps of different cameras that you can pick from out there guys, varying price ranges. Obviously the more you spend generally the better the camera will be and the more features it will have compared to the lower end but then you've also got cameras that do different kind of filming things like the insta 360 just gives a different look compared to things like the gopro so just answer that one before you go out to grab a camera now the second thing that you're going to want to know is where do you want to mount the camera now as you can see again mine's mounted here on the helmet on my chin a little more about that later but maybe you want to run it somewhere different on the helmet maybe you want to run it on your chest maybe you want to run it on the motorbike itself different options there but just answer that one as well so you can grab the right mount and the right gear that you're going to need to make it work for you and your camera now the third and final thing guys that i'll mention is to do with the audio setup what kind of audio setup do you want i run a mic that goes straight from the gopro into my helmet that i can speak directly into but maybe you guys just want to use the audio that comes straight from the camera itself or maybe as a third option you might even want to have a separate audio recorder that you can put in your pocket and then run the cable up to your shirt into your helmet things like that so there's a few different options there with the audio as well now the reason i mention these three things guys is just so you don't go out and waste any money that you don't need to i was okay with my camera choice I've stuck with that it's been great but things like the audio and the mounting I've had to fiddle around with it to make it work probably with my camera and my setup so just answer those questions to yourself before you run out and buy anything so you don't waste any money that you don't need to so with all that being said guys I'll get this helmet off I'll give you guys a closer look at how I've done it and maybe you want to do something similar so this is my vlog helmet guys it's the only adventure helmet I have anyway but this camera stuff basically just stays on there 24 7 it's a Bell MX-9 adventure so as I said before I run GoPros I've got two of them this one here that's on the helmet and another one that's filming me right now which I use that one as just my handheld unit for if I'm off the bike and want to film something if I'm camping whatever it might be just so I don't have to take the GoPro off the helmet fiddle around with that so that's why I run two but the one that I've got here on the helmet is a GoPro 10 the one that's filming me is a GoPro 9 basically the same thing anyway I think we're up to 11 maybe 12 now I don't know there's a new one every week I can't keep up now as you can see I've mounted it on the chin can mount it on the top of the helmet i guess if you want or the side but in my opinion the front on the chin is the best footage that you're going to get especially for people watching if you have it on the chin it gives that feel that you're actually wearing that helmet and you're the one riding the bike versus on top or on the side i feel like when i've watched other videos of people and they've got their cameras mounted on the side of the top it just doesn't feel the same it's a little bit off-putting it still looks fine i guess but for the best footage in my opinion the chin is where you should put the camera now i'll get some close-up shots so you guys can see what's going on here but the way i've mounted this to the helmet probably not ideal probably not the best way you can do it but i've had this for a couple of years now and at the time i couldn't find any specific mounts to suit this helmet so what i went and did is got this gopro piece that was in one of the kits that i had to mount on something i don't know where it come from but anyway it fit there very nicely so all i did was drill two holes through the grill and then screw it in that way so this thing is there forever it's not coming off so i will say if you do have a new helmet and you're looking to put the gopro on the chin go online and do some googling because i've seen some products out there that are specific for each helmet for the chin mounting so you don't have to go and drill holes in it like i did and basically ruin your helmet <laughs> Now just something to mention if you do select a GoPro, especially one of these newer ones, you can't just plug your mic straight into the GoPro. It doesn't allow you to do that. I think it's just a way for GoPro to get some more money out of you to make you have to buy other products of theirs. But anyway, I thought I'd mention that because I know I tried to make it work without it when I first got these two GoPros and it annoyed me for a long time and searching on forums and all things like that. So just to help you guys out, I've got this here on the side and this is a GoPro mic adapter. Obviously you plug straight into the GoPro I've got it velcroed here on the side of the helmet so it doesn't move at all and then my mic is plugged straight to the back, runs underneath and then into the helmet here. 
So there was two ways I could have went with the mic adapter for the GoPro. Firstly, being the one that I've selected here with this one, or you can, if you want, they have the media mod that just goes over the top of the GoPro itself, and then you can plug the mic into that. I didn't go down that route just because I didn't want the larger GoPro size with that media mod in my field of view. I figured this one here would be a better option. It's out of the way looks a bit neater than that big media mod. So yeah, that's why I went with this mic adapter instead of the media mod. So my GoPro decided it was a good time to turn off. But anyway, we're back on now. The final thing in the helmet there, as I said, my mic that runs inside to here, it is a Purple Panda mic. Now, I'll put the link down below so you guys can find it. it took me a little while to find this mic. I tried a few others, just a few cheap ones, and they weren't very good. But I got this one. It comes with all the attachments for different kind of cameras, and it also comes with the little dead cat on there, if you can see that. I'll get a close-up of it anyway. But that thing there prevents a lot of the wind noise. So it works pretty well still when I'm riding along and there's a bit of wind. That prevents most of it getting through onto the audio. So for any of you guys watching this that haven't seen any of my other videos, I thought I'd chuck this in here just to show you the perspective of having the camera on the chin. This is what you see. Obviously I don't have it on the top of my helmet on the side so I can't show you that. But I have seen a few others and it doesn't look as good in my opinion. But I'm doing about 50, 60 kilometers an hour here. The audio isn't too bad. It's usually pretty good up to around the 80 kilometer mark. Once I start doing about 100, it does get a little bit of wind noise. But that could be to do with this helmet having so much airflow in it being an adventure helmet. But for most times that I'm riding, this audio setup is great. So one final thing that I want to show you guys, it's part of my Moto Vlog kit. Definitely not necessary, but if your budget can allow it, something great that'll get you some good footage and different perspective on things. It's a drone. Now this is the drone I use. It's a DJI Mavic Pro 2. I've had it for a few years and yeah, I love this thing. So good, so versatile. Fits in the tank bag nice with the GoPros and everything else like that. But I have been thinking about upgrading, downgrading, however you want to look at it just to get something a bit smaller than this one. So I've got a bit of extra room in the tank bag. But yeah, something else to think about guys, if you can afford it, grab a drone, different perspective on things when you're out riding. Well, that's it for me guys. That's my motor vlog setup and some tips for you guys if you are just starting out. I'm by no means an expert or professional at any of this stuff. I'm just having a go and making it up as I go along. And this is the exact same way that I learned by getting on YouTube, seeing what everyone else was using and just making my own kit from there and start making some videos. But as always guys, thanks so much for watching. It means a lot. Please, before you go, give that like button a smash and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any other videos that I've got coming up. If you have any other questions that I didn't answer in this video, please put them down below and I'll try and help you out. And also, if you are tech savvy and you do know a lot about cameras and settings and things like that that might help me take my footage to the next level and improve all these videos, please put them below as well and yeah, might help me out. Thanks guys, I'm out today on the bike all day so I'm going to have to find some dirt and have some more fun. Ride safe and I'll catch you in the next video.